funny anymore. My mother's dead? She's just fucking dead? Well? Well? Yeah. Well what? Which one of you sickos slaughtered my mother? Which one of us? Yeah, which one of you killed her? Dear recipient, I hope this letter finds you well and in good health. I'm writing you today in regards to my uncle, Sir Hugh Black's passing. If this is the first you are learning of this, I apologize for being so abrupt over mail. C'est la vie, as they say. The reason I'm contacting you is related to my uncle's estate. Mr. Black, having no spouse or offspring of his own, has left his estate to me. This means it is now my responsibility to carry out any special instructions specified in his will. If you're receiving this correspondence you have been mentioned, please join me at the Tudor Mansion May 5th at 6 o'clock for the reading and distribution of Mr. Black's will. I look forward to seeing you all. Sincerely, Jonathan Body. What about me? Me? What about me? What do I have anything to do with this? I came here to support my mother. I wasn't even invited to this massacre. Please, everybody, calm down. I know about your mother and Mr. Black. What about my mother and Mr. Black? They've been friends for years. Give it up. Your mother and Mr. Black were married. <gasps> you saw your opportunity to get her alone and took her by surprise. To inherit money? Bullshit. Is it Miss Scarlet? Yes! I would never kill my own mother. And what about Jonathan and the Colonel? The only person that could possibly want to kill them is you, Mr. Plum. How do you figure? My mother had always been a gossip, but rarely found another audience other than me. It was no secret that you weren't Mr. Black's only drinking buddy. The Colonel was always belittling you and patronizing your work in front of Mr. Black, your mentor. After we found Mr. Body's body and split up to search the house, you saw your opportunity. Your eyes were red with rage as you smashed the man's skull in. Please stop this. We can't turn on each other so quickly. If we can keep the faith, we can get through this. I will let Mr. Body know you have all arrived. So do you know this Jonathan Body guy? Is he handsome? I don't know the nephew personally. I've never met him. Why do you ask? Well, he's rich, which makes him very, very handsome. Millionaires, Miss Scarlet. I like the sound of it. Well, he's dead. <laughs> It's funny how uncomfortable you are, Green. He's right. If you were gonna blackmail Mr. Black, who would have more dirt on him than his priest? That's preposterous. Is it? Why are you here? Mr. Black was a vital member of my congregation. In fact, he was the most generous man in my congregation. Exactly. Perfect crime. You blackmail Mr. Black? And if you're even caught, you just claim donations. Very well done. You're speaking nonsense, Professor Plum. There's no reason to believe there was blackmail. Before he passed, he had promised a large sum of money to the church. I assumed I was invited here to receive this, not be put on trial. But wait, there, our names were on a list, and there was all those financial records. So admit it, you were just here for the money. Don't go too far, Reverend. I think it's time I call the police. To think it was a man of the cloth in the end. I'm sorry I lashed out at you. Ah, good. You're awake. 
Now we can wrap this whole thing up. You're dead. Very astute observation, Miss Scarlet. What? What's going on here? Where's my mother and the others? Is this some kind of prank? It's in very bad taste. I killed them. If this is a prank, why are your hands tied behind your back and why does your head hurt so much? Nah, now you're starting to understand. The six of you played into my hands so well. Piecing together that my uncle was being blackmailed and one of you was responsible. You all turned on each other so quickly, it all worked out so perfectly. Mr. Plum was so disgusted by Colonel Mustard, he left him alone at the first possible opportunity. And your mother, Mrs. Peacock, she isolated herself and made herself an easy target. Killing the Reverend was more of a spectacle than I would have liked, but the irony of a flaming holy man was too tempting. See? You still have his blood in your hair. Bullshit! Ms. White called the police right before you knocked me out. They should be here any minute. That's right. Ms. White, would you come in here, please? I've started cleaning, but I'll need your help moving Mr. Plum before the blood stains the floor. I'll attend to that as soon as I'm finished here. Thank you. But, but why? Because they all deserved it. Mr. Black was a kind man. He was a good man. He treated me better than any employer I ever had. He treated me like family. Day in and day out, I would have to watch these terrible people take advantage of him. Colonel Mustard, always threatening to tell the world about the things Mr. Black had done when he was a soldier. He didn't finance his war novels. The Reverend, always asking for these donations, yet always arriving in nicer cars than before. Disgusting! Now, now, Mrs. White. Don't get so worked up. This is ridiculous. You're a monster. Now, Miss Scarlet, no need to get nasty. Didn't you hear? They all deserved it. What about my mother? Did she deserve it? Well, your mother. Remember all the nonsense Professor Plum told you about your mother and my uncle being married? It's absolutely true. In fact, this is paperwork from my uncle detailing a $2,000 transfer every week into your mother's bank account. No, that's ridiculous. My mother wasn't blackmailing anyone. No, it wasn't blackmail. It was support for a child. You see, my uncle fathered a child with your mother, and he figured it would be best if he married her in case someone found out, despite his disinterest in a family. No. You must be deranged. I'm my mother's only child. Don't you see? You're my uncle's daughter. My cousin. No. No, my father was a body double in my mother's first film. He ran away before she had a chance to tell him about me. No. He was an executive producer. And he bought your ignorance from your mother. I know it's a lot to take in. You were never supposed to be here tonight. In fact, I didn't even know you existed until Professor Plum told me. You see, I received this letter some time after my uncle passed away, detailing where you're from, who your father is, and demanding one million dollars be deposited into an undisclosed bank account in order to maintain their silence. I couldn't be sure who sent it until tonight. I invited all of the top suspects here, and after Mr. Plum accused you, I was sure it was him. Then why go through all this? Why not just kill him? My uncle taught me one thing. Never to leave loose ends. Speaking of which, I suppose we need to discuss what we're going to do with you. You weren't even supposed to be here tonight. In fact, Professor Plum was supposed to be right where you're sitting. I was never in this for the money. I would have stepped aside and named you as a rightful heir to the Black Fortune. Unfortunately, you did come tonight. You must have realized I could have never let you live after divulging my plans to you. You've become a loose end, cousin. No. Stop her! 